hey welcome to this video so this is training video chest and we're here at BMO gym and this is a friend of mine Drew Walker he is a PCA pro he in 2019 he's best known for winning Mr. World um, so he is pretty class um, I don't know what his weight is but he's a fully fledged bodybuilder you'll see he's a big lad uh, he's two weeks out from two bros he's come over to IFBB he's gone over to Norway uh, so I wanted to come over and just see where he's at check his condition check what he's up to uh, and just get a good lift in give me some inspiration I'm just under 11 weeks out from the Olympics so things like this for me I think are quite important I don't do it often because I like to just get in my zone get into my routine and just stick at that and don't really change things up but every so often it's great to train, train with different people who are like-minded who are, have got similar aspirations and similar goals to yours um, because it just gives you that extra push and extra motivation and my motivation is quite high at the minute um, but yeah we've got chest today I'm not particularly the strongest person on chest I've, I always like hit a plateau and that's about it so it'd be nice to see if there's any ways I can try and improve any other exercises that I don't typically do and that's why I love training with new people because you can learn all the time and this is pretty spit and sawdust gym so I can't wait to get in let's go Drew, uh, Drew, what have you got there, mate, in your hand? This? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sold out. Sold out, mate. Sold out. <laughs> Code Ryan. So the first exercise uh, is a personal favourite of mine, and it's a cable fly. Uh, the reason we're doing this first is we're going to get blood into the muscle and get all the joints uh, around the chest warmed up. So obviously elbows, shoulders, everything that we're going to be working throughout a chest workout. Because we're using cables, we're gonna have constant tension throughout the movement, so both concentric and eccentric part, and we're really gonna stretch the, the muscle fascia off and get warmed up for compound uh, lifts, if that's what we're gonna be doing, um, and the rest of the workout. So what we did here, we did five times 20 reps. Each set, we increased the weight by a, a plate. So nothing too major. Again, we're aiming for 20 reps, so it's, it's a high number. Uh, it's just forcing blood into there and getting fully warmed up. So like a pre-exhaust exercise. We're now moving on to a plate-loaded uh, inclined seated press. Uh, this is an absolutely lovely movement. It was quite steep for me, so at first I was a bit unsure of it uh, because I felt like it was going to bring in um, my front delts. Uh, but when I sat in it and we got uh, the movement going, it didn't at all, and it was all on the upper chest. As you can see, the, the tempo of the rep is very slow, so we're four seconds down, and I'd say two to three seconds up, but we're, we're really focusing on the negative here, so time under tension uh, exercise here. So again, we went for four working sets. Now I'm in business, obviously taking the <laughs> top off. As you can see, the weight's still not massively heavy for me, but we're focusing on that mind to muscle connection and get a full squeeze at the top and just getting a feel for every single part of the motion. Drew here, he's a week out from the show, so as you can see, he's looking absolutely peeled. Energy's low, uh, but again, he's still focusing uh, on that contraction. For me here, we're aiming for around 12 reps slow, and then maybe three just normal tempo reps, as you can see here. set uh, was just basically to failure. I don't bar, I never use bar. Yeah. And just do that and like just look at what your chest is doing. Fucking nothing. Whereas in comparison when you do that you can you, I know well mate honestly I tore my pec with four plates I can do I can do three three and a half four plates but but my chest was coming off man. But you can see it yeah feel fucking to see your chest working and if it's not then what's the point but again it's not about people think if you don't go heavy you're pumping you're not 
you're still doing 12 strict reps to failure with some force, with some drop, but it's just... So now we're moving on to um, a barbell press. This is not something I typically do. Um, I normally do a lot of my uh, chest exercises, especially with barbell incline, uh, just to get more thickness on the upper chest. Uh, but it was nice to get under the bar. Again, look at the weight, there's hardly anything on there for me and I'm actually struggling at this. Um, the reason for that is one, we're pre-exhausted and two, we're just doing that time under tension with every single um, exercise we do it. So nice and slow on the way down, four seconds down, a one second hold, and then a two to three second um, on the concentric part. These type of workouts, I actually really, really enjoy. Um, I know there's a, there's a place for heavy weight, um, but there's also a place for strict, uh, slow, controlled reps. And uh, for me, that was just phenomenal on this day. So we're moving on to an incline dumbbell fly. As you can see with Drew's uh, technique to mine, he's a bit shorter than me, he's got more bend in the elbow. Uh, that's just from a pec tear he had uh, as a junior and he just works around it. But um, again, he's still getting full contraction in his chest. For me, I always try and do like a semi half circle, so we're out and around, keeping that chest engaged the whole time. We're aiming for four working sets with um, 12 to 15 reps. Chest up, one, two, three, come on, three, come on, four, lock the five, come on, lock one, 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 squeeze, no, one leg, one leg, one leg, call it here. So we finished chest predominantly there and now we're just doing a little bit on triceps and um, shoulders. Drew again is a week out so we just wanted to see where he's at. Um, so we wanted to do a bit of um, a pump up just so we can see his, his true shape uh, in natural light. But here we're just doing some dips just to still engage the chest but we're hitting triceps as well. Again there's not much focus on like trying to put the, the muscle under load or under stress because it's just putting blood in there so we can see um, whilst he's hitting his poses. So here obviously we're using a, a side lateral machine, just getting blood into to the side delts just to again show, show his shape up. Drew's looking insane there, he's um, going for the heavy weights um, I think he's, yeah, he'd be out there. The time this comes out, he'd actually be competing in Norway this day. Um, and he looks absolutely phenomenal. So I wish him all the best. And I think he's going to do seriously well here. Again, we're just aiming for between 15 and 20 reps, just getting blood in there. Nothing more. And now we're going to move on to, to look at Drew, see where he's at. Um, like I say, he's just over a week out. Um, it's quite depleted, but it looks phenomenal. Um, it's just a few minor details he needs to, to bring in and, and change up. And then we're there. Now we look at Drew. Like I say, he's a week out. Um, as you can see, there's nothing left to come off Drew. Um, he'll probably just dry out a little bit more and obviously fill up um, on peak week. I'm just readjusting himself there. So as you can see, Drew has lovely proportions. He's got a nice tapered waist. Got big round shoulders, uh, legs are absolutely phenomenal. And we're just discussing like what what his next plan is for the next week and what's what how he's going to approach peak week. From the back, I think Drew has a lovely shape. He's very detailed through the back. He's nice and thick. Here, I was just asking him to maybe bring his elbows back slightly and then forward a little bit more, and it just opens his back up and just makes him look a bit wider. His arms look thick there. His legs are through. As you can see here, <laughs> I'm 11 weeks out at this stage, so still a long way to go. Food's still relatively high. It's not a great angle where we're filming from here to see what I'm doing, but that's kind of like typically a men's physique pose, but hitting with a few classic ones there. I was just saying I, I was training abs this morning, so uh, I, I think I'd struggle to hit a vacuum uh, after I've trained them for an hour in the morning, but we got a little bit, only a couple of seconds. <laughs> um, but yeah, a great gym to train out of um, and obviously there's a big shutter there so all this is natural light which is obviously giving you a true indication of, of where you really are, where you're at, there's no uh, shadow lighting and, and all that kind of stuff. This is where I really need to improve on is, is my back. 
Um, obviously the likes of Erin Banks, Brandon Hendrickson have big turtle shell backs. So for me to be a contender up there and, and take that number one spot, this is what I'm working tirelessly on at the minute. So we're hitting them on a Monday and a Friday. Um, I've always had good definition there and balance, but it's just that thickness of, of lack compared to some men's physique competitors. But we're going to eradicate that. Obviously hitting my signature shot with my abs. <laughs> and we're done. That's a wrap. All done with chest. I would love a power nap right now, but I don't think my son is going to allow that. He's uh, very pent up, waiting for me to go and take him out for a bit. But um, as far as that went, yeah, it was quite good. It was nice to train with Drew in the fact that we, I think, have similar uh, methods now where we both used to lift silly heavy when we were younger. He tore his pec, so he has to be very sensible in the way he trains now. And he's very much about the mind to muscle connection and not about mass weight. And the only difference between me and him, he has longer rest periods between sets. He likes to take his time, fully recover before hitting him again. For me, I like to incorporate a bit of both. Getting that mind to muscle connection, not necessarily about heavy weight, but still keeping a bit of speed in my training. Uh, I don't like to sit around and have long rest periods. Um, but that being said, it was great to train with someone who is like two weeks out, got that bodybuilding mindset, got that like fire in his belly to do better uh, in what he's doing and he looked phenomenal. As you see on the footage, he looks unbelievable. And I think if he was to have like a year or two years out off stage, a full off season, he could do some good damage in the 212. Um, he's still an amateur in the, the IFBB and the MPC, two bros. Um, but if he was to just have a bit of time off and put, put some size on, he'd be an absolutely class 212. Um, but I wish him the best of luck anyway uh, in two weeks' time. He's, I think he's doing an open class uh, over in Norway, so we'll see what happens there. Um, as you can see with me, obviously my condition is not quite his condition. He's two weeks uh, out. I think he competed a few weeks ago as well. So he's between shows. I'm still 11 weeks out. I'm very happy with where I'm at. Um, still feel strong getting good pumps, got lots of energy. The food is still really high for me. I feel like I'm at the leanest I've ever been at this stage, shall we say, and I'm still weighing quite a lot. I'm still 217, I think I was this morning. Um, so whether I'm kidding myself and I need to get some fat on, or I might have had a good off season and that we're leaner and building muscle, but until I, I proper look at it and assess it, then we'll know truly where we're at. But at the minute, I'm just enjoying the process, enjoying my routine, and I'm going to stop blabbering now because I can see Ash's hands are shaking because he's in a position where he wants to stop. Or shall we carry on talking? Keep going. <laughs> uh, now, I appreciate you watching the video. Like I say, most of this footage going forward is going to be the, of the Olympia prep now. So I'm going to really bring you in on, on the nutrition side, the training side, the recovery side, and then all things bodybuilding orientated. So I hope you're enjoying the content. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>